Good evening. I have a few things I wish to say to you about existence, specifically about unicorns, but also more generally about the world. I understand that many of you would be in perfect agreement with me that real unicorns don't exist right now. Also, I would probably even agree that we unicorns didn't exist in the past, though I am somewhat less certain about this. But what about the future? Our future. Let's look at some of the scientific possibilities, shall we? Here is an image of an unfortunate Drosophila. Some imaginative and clever biologists have manipulated sets of genes so that this fly has additional eyes on its head, on its legs. Really, the additional eyes could be anywhere on the fly's body. Now here is a rhinoceros, or what I like to call a plains hippopotamus with a horn. Here is a narwhal, or what I like to call a dolphin with a horn. Is it really so very hard for you to imagine a horse with a horn? And I'm not talking about some sort of plastic surgery or xenograft though such a thing is certainly possible today with immunosuppressive drugs. I'm talking about an animal genetically altered to grow a horn. And if you won't accept it, unless it's something that's inherited, then germline gene therapy will be necessary, but that will certainly also be possible. Well, you say, that's one possible future. But I say, given the society's fascination with the unicorns, and the rapid advancement of biotechnology. The future existence of a putative unicorn is a virtual certainty, at least as far as I'm concerned. In fact, computer simulations like me might even stimulate some energetic scientist to go ahead and attempt such genetic manipulations, though I personally don't recommend it. So I might literally wish myself into existence. But what about all those other mythical characteristics of a unicorn? The susceptibility to being caught by a virgin and so forth. Well, I'll have to leave that Freudian analysis to others of you who are interested in such things. But guys, don't be surprised if she's interested. Mine's so much longer than yours. Now, here comes the really tricky part for all you scientists and especially physicists out there. According to special and general relativity, the universe can be well approximated by a four-dimensional manifold. What that means, among other things, is that what happens in the future is already there in that four-dimensional manifold. Thus, if you believe unicorns almost certainly will exist in the future, in the genetically altered sense we're discussing here, then they already exist, according to relativity. Let me quote Albert Einstein in a letter he wrote to Besso's wife after Besso died. He has preceded me a little by parting from this strange world. This means nothing. To us believing physicists, the distinction between past, present, and future has only the significance of a stubborn illusion. The significance of this for our current discussion is pretty straightforward. If you believe in modern physics and you think it highly probable that unicorns will be genetically engineered in the future, then you must believe that unicorns already exist. That's kind of interesting. Even though I don't believe in unicorns, if you believe in modern physics, you kind of have to, probabilistically. Huh.